So David, as always, it's a privilege to um, hear your speeches. We can tell it came from a special place in your heart. Um, you were quite nostalgic remembering this was when you were about seven years old, right? When you attended this event. And uh, one component of uh, judging your speech is based on, I would rather say, I would uh, even say uh, exquisite research. A lot of research is, uh, uh, was undertaken by uh, you, David, with flying colors. And uh, well, you use uh, recollection, solicited help of uh, family members. By the way, one, one thing I learned about David's speech, where you can involve your family members, whether by content or um, uh, feedback when doing your speech. You know, Toastmasters makes for a healthier family life. <laughs> That's something that um, is definitely true. And, um, so even though you did this speech and it was before the free Google days, uh, I can see how well researched this was and we can all uh, enjoy from your nostalgic experience what this Expo 67 was all about. Okay, so for evaluation, we recommend, recommend, and recommend. Uh, for recommend, the great flow of data. Uh, even when we were not there on that event, we can see uh, in our minds how it went. We uh, appreciated how Russia and Canada was trying to fight for uh, the place in history and because of Russia's so monetary problems, it went to Canada. And it was also Canada's 100th birthday. So that looks a great thing to remember during the time. And um, one thing um, that I appreciate is your vocal projection. Um, you don't have a loud voice, but nobody strains you when trying to hear from what you're saying. So you, you could say everything in a good pace and in a volume that everybody can well understand what you're saying and that's very much appreciated. The cons uh, which eventually turned to a good positive anyway is that uh, there's a limited hand uh, gestures. I noticed that you were putting your hands in the back and uh, but eventually later on during the middle and end part of your speech you were more liberal with your hand movements. And there are a lot of points where you could have used more hand movements like you were saying you have to get stamp on your passport in every pavilion. You know, just little things that you can inject hand movements which, which can go a long way. And uh, another one, just more, uh, maybe a photo gallery from uh, Google if there is or from your local library that could definitely help uh, so that uh, any visual, visuals especially for those uh, uh, events that happened uh, sometime in history that can definitely help. Uh, recommendation, again, using family members to make speeches. Uh, really a good thing, really a good learning experience for all of us. What else? Um, um, yeah, you were able to do that. You'll never have known that your brother had a book if you didn't ask, so it's always important to do that. Last thing, um, of course, you did uh, quite white wonderful this speech. Every speech of yours, David, comes from a place inside your heart. Mm -hmm. Every time you talk, we can feel it, and we're thankful every time you come here and share it as a piece of history.